mashing to each other on email what we're doing, <laughs> then when you do subscribe and you get that support, it, it really changes. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, 120 subscriptions. Yeah, yeah. Is that a record? It is, yeah. A record through the reality yeah. street. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and also thanks to Steve Fowler, who's set up this, this reading for us. Um, much appreciated. Um, I, I'm not going to say a great deal about the book. Um, what I've got to say about it is in the introduction, and I won't say anything about that. So I will come at it from a, a different angle, because I'm already being asked when Volume 3 is going to be. Well, the answer to that is... It depends on Ken, it depends on the reality stream schedule and so on, and you're doing a book with sizes, so it's a big commitment. But from the editing point of view, I, I do actually have a first edit of what will probably be volume three, because originally this, this, this volume was going to go, I was just looking at the files, and it went from 1981, which is the cut-off point for the first volume, and it went up to 86 with um, Rousseau in the Wicked, and that seemed a perfectly good point to cut off. And so I did that edit, and I realised that we got a book about 850 pages, which, um, which is too much. And so we decided to cut it back to 91, which makes a lot of sense in terms of Bill's life. He moved to see him in, I think, May 1990. Um, see him makes a few appearances in this work in 91, but... Um, not, not, not um, crucial. I think Bill didn't really start exploring Northeast dialect and writing about the Northeast um, as a as a resident until about '92, and so that that later work um, is the beginning of his Northeastern work, and this really completes the, the record for his time in London, or those looking at London from a rather different perspective from what the, the earlier work was. Um, and so, that probably means that Volume 3 will be, not as people seem to expect, that's going to be the rest of Bill's work. <laughs> <laughs> it's only going to be the next four years. <laughs> and by my calculation, there's something like 2,000 pages altogether, and so that makes five volumes like, like this. But um, actually, after 1996, most of his work was published in much more substantial forms and most of those books are still in print and you can get them from the publishers or from a reputable um, bookseller like West House Books. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so, just a word about tonight's readings. The people I've invited to read are all people who help me a lot with really tricky bits. It's okay, it's anyway really tricky bits in the editing. Um, or sometimes supplying me with text which I didn't have. Um, just mentioned a couple of people in particular, Robert Shepherd, who's um, writing about the Book of the Boat and his, his views of it um, were pretty crucial in, in making me see how I could edit that particular. I, you know, I think the Book of the Boat is, is one of the major texts in this book, but it was, it was a, a real editorial problem. And um, yeah, Robert really got me into focus on it. And, as far as loans were concerned, Alan Fisher, who loaned me his um, hand-coloured copy of the Book of the Boat, which gave us this cover image, and it was invaluable to see that second edition to that first ever seen the book. And so, um, I'm going to read, I've arranged it roughly in the order of the book, um, chronologically, um, with a few deviations, because it's by Bill, and so it wouldn't go in a straight line, which means that... It's, um, we'll be starting fairly early, but I'm just going to finish this little natter with a very short poem which I think has never been published before, called Words. <coughs> Words by which I mean agreements, avoidances, horse leaf time, ear beam, thunder, and voids. No. Four. Without agreement, how good, bad, ugly, empty. 